Hey guys, John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, we're going to talk about making an infinite reverb to create ambience tracks and drones and things like that. I got this idea from Akash Takar in his video on infinite reverb and also the sounds of Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, he kind of explains this pretty briefly. Once I watched that video and tried it for myself, I was amazed with the results. So I really want to share that. And uh, you should subscribe to his channel. He's making some great stuff there. And the plugin we're going to use for this is a plugin called EOS from Audio Damage. I think it's called EOS, not EOS. Anyways, it has this great function called infinite. And when you turn it on, it just infinitely repeats the sounds that you put into it. And then we can change the modulation controls. There are three different reverb algorithms. We can change the EQ and the filters on this and create really interesting sounds. And it's always going to be different depending on what you put into it. So let's start with something completely at random. I'm going to open up my Media Explorer and grab something from my sample library and it will just be anything. All right, so that's the first sound to play around with. So let's bring up that plugin again. I know I'll need to turn this down a little bit because it's an infinite reverb. Just need to set this to infinite. Two hours later. Right. So it just extends it forever. We need to make this a little more interesting. Uh, we can play around with the reverb shape or the, uh, the size, the decay time. We can change the amount of diffusion, the depth of modulation, how fast that modulation is, the attack, which is kind of a, a delay for the modulation to start. But we're mostly going to be playing around with some EQ on this. So let's just bring up re-EQ on this track and we're definitely going to need some sort of a filter in the top end, a little bit on the low end, just to keep it from rumbling. Uh, let's actually record this to a track. So to get the really interesting stuff, you're gonna have to let this go for about 15 seconds, 30 seconds, two minutes, um, before you get some really interesting results. And then you can turn those into drones and things like that, elements for sound design. How will we actually record this? I think the best way to do this might actually to just extend this item. And I have item looping off. That's in preferences under project and media item defaults. I have loop source for imported items turned off by default. So let's audition this and see how um, maybe more modulation on this, more depth and uh, a little more filtering on this. Need to set this to infinite every time we change the reverb parameters, except for the modulation. And then we can try this out. Okay, so let's just record this. And the simplest way, now that we've extended that item out, is to right click and apply track slash take effects to items as a new take. Click this, gonna process. And now I've got the drone here in a new take. 
can turn off the effects on the track so we can just hear this flat. And uh, remember that that volume change that we did at the beginning also applies to the additional take. It is better to use volume, take volume automation rather than uh, the item volume, but it's no big deal. We can always bump that up again. I think that's a cool sound. We can easily add more things to that. Uh, but let's just keep going with a different sound. So again, I'm going to the Media Explorer. I'll just scroll down a little bit, see what we have. It's a paint can. There, that's a good one. So I'm going to drop in that paint can sample. I'm going to pull it out. Let's go right into rendering that as a new take. And we went from a sound of a paint can to this. And let's see if it's any different at the end. So I think this is a great technique, a really, really fun way of working with sounds. Um, cause it's, it seems totally random what you're going to get, but it's always cool. I played around with this for about an hour last night and I got so many different cool results, just grabbing something at random, putting it in, choosing random parameters on this plugin and it comes out cool every time. You can do something similar if you don't have the EOS plugin, any reverb plugin that has a really, really long decay time can get you something similar, maybe not infinite. Having a freeze or an infinite button on the reverb really helps, but if it extends long enough, uh, you can get some really interesting results. So that's it. That's how you get an infinite reverb. You apply it to a random sound to get something that's really cool, a cool drone background sound. I've shown you how to apply that as a new take in your item. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.